Here is the flutter kick. I would not recommend doing it that quick. I would do it at a nice, consistent speed. And I'm going to count out the rep tempo for you. That's one, one, two, two, three, three. It's not one, two, three, four. It's one, one, two, two. Here's a version where you put your hands under your glutes. I find that that will help isolate your lower abs more and give you a little bit more range of motion. And here's the scissor kick. I think this is a very good exercise to warm up your hip flexors before you're going to squat or deadlift heavy along with warm up your abs to help activate your core. I recommend doing this after flutter kicks, but really you can do one or the other in either order. Both a great core exercise, play around with it and see what feels best for your body. And everybody, remember to challenge yourself. Find the hardest range of motion and stay in it while doing the flutter and scissor kicks. That is what's going to build strength in a nice six pack.